Maintaining multiple legal identities across different jurisdictions is complex. Practically, managing documentation for each identity, such as visas and permits, can be cumbersome, and ensuring consistency across identities is challenging. In summary, while having multiple legal identities may seem appealing, it involves significant complexity and risk, requiring careful planning and awareness of legal implications. It's a delicate balance between opportunity and caution. The truth is that you can change your name and hold multiple passports with different names, provided you follow the appropriate legal procedures, as long as the identities are obtained correctly. Imagine you're John Moore, traveling from Canada to Mexico, where you've legally changed your name to Juan Paz and hold a Mexican passport. So, officials may question the discrepancy, especially since they've known you as John Moore for years. Countries like Singapore and the U.S. are particularly strict about travel document scrutiny. Any inconsistencies between your identities could lead to inconveniences, questioning, detentions, or worse. Global banking and financial institutions, as well as government agencies, enforce strict regulations. Discrepancies in names across jurisdictions, such as being listed as John Smith in the U.S. and Mario Scorse in Italy pose significant risks. These discrepancies can trigger automatic flags, leading to investigations, asset freezes, blocked transactions, or restricted accounts. Even if a legal name change has been completed, practical challenges persist, especially in investment migration, where procedures vary across countries. Regulators, particularly after September 11th, have become increasingly vigilant, assuming potential fraud or illegal activity when identity discrepancies arise. Inheritance and property transactions. Here's another situation. You're Ivan Ivanov in Russia and own property there. But as John Smith in the United States, you've written your will under that name. Upon your death, your heirs may have to untangle your dual identities to have any legal right to your assets. This may involve presenting multiple court papers, complying with a court order, if not several, and finding and filing a certified copy of all name change proof, which could turn a simple inheritance process from a few basic steps into complete chaos. Even simple property transactions selling a house, for example, can become a nightmare if identities don't match on historical records and forms. The right timing for changing your name is crucial to avoid tax, legal, and identity issues. It is recommended to make the name change after your divorce decree is certified, as this ensures your name aligns with your official marital status, preventing potential conflicts in legal and financial documents. Additionally, it's better to change your name before becoming a tax resident in Mexico, as this will streamline the process by ensuring your identity is fully established when you declare your tax residency. So. While it is lawful and possible to hold multiple identities in multiple jurisdictions, as we've pointed out, the practical challenges are significant. Being a chameleon comes with its obstacles, passport and travel complications, financial hurdles, and potential inheritance disputes on your behalf. This is where we've come to. If you want to contact us to obtain another citizenship, invest in other countries, or have more information about the benefits of global mobility, schedule a call with our CEO. Have a nice day.